going on everybody Jason here uh, bringing you finally bringing you a uh, video where I'm awake uh, last couple weeks have been pretty rough and hectic moving from Oregon to Idaho and get my tank set up you can see uh, Magneto there so I kind of slipped that in the last video real quick I was trying to think of a name for him and my wife came up with Magneto uh, which I thought was really cool kind of because he's a, a manganese I don't know how you say that uh, the scientific name so manganese magneto whatever that was a cool name so my wife's idea she's a freaking genius because magneto's a badass but anyway um so the move went good uh very long drive got everything got into the new house and uh first thing i did was set the tank up and get him in there and uh like i said uh, i did use a cooler it was like a little five or ten gallon cooler and I uh, had a sponge filter running with a heater in there and ran it to a power converter, which was only about 20 bucks at Walmart, plugged into the cigarette lighter and a U-Haul, and it worked. Um, I had him in there for about two and a half days. Um, the house in Oregon, when I put him in there at about maybe three or two, three or four o'clock in the afternoon when we had pretty much the entire U-Haul loaded up the next morning when we left, we left, and then um got to the house that day <clears throat> and then the next morning uh is when i set up the tank so about about two probably two full days he was in there and he survived um i had the cover on the uh the cooler and so it was probably pretty dark for him so that would probably help reduce the stress a little bit i hope and um right before i set the tank i mean his color was gone he was just pale like tan um you guys see his oh. color you guys have seen his color before in the videos. Um, really nice, dark, spotty color. I mean, he was just tanned. He was getting pretty stressed out. And I was, I was kind of worried um, about his health, but when I set up the tank and put him in there, um, like literally within one hour, his color came back. Just boof, his color came back. He was really happy. And, um, and then later that night, started eating right away um, cl uh, like normal. So it's been quite an experience. I have never transported a fish before, and uh, it worked. Oh, there he is. Uh, definitely a little, uh, little stressful if you're transporting a fish that you really like and you definitely want to keep and keep healthy. Um, if you guys go back, watch some of my earlier videos when I was packing up, I had like three or four tanks. I sold all my fish, I sold all my tanks, and I kept with kept this one and bought that Jaguar. and. Um, I haven't seen a Jaguar in a very long time, so when I found him, I scooped him up, and I, and I want to grow this guy out. He's, he's doubled in size, he's healthy, and uh, I wanted to keep him. I really want to keep him, and uh, I wanted to make sure he stayed healthy, and when I transported the tank over here, I wanted to make sure he, he made it, and he did. So, really happy about that. <clears throat> Other strange thing, when I set this up, my water is like crystal freaking clear. I mean, crystal clear. Couldn't really tell that in the other house. In the other house, I, I, if you guys ever watched my videos, the walls were yellow. Uh, but that whole back room was yellow, and I think that gave the water a yellow tint. I was like, I'm like, why is my water so dingy? It wasn't. It was the house tint. And I'll, I'll get a close-up and show you. Again, I'll do a close-up and show you here in a minute. But um, So, yeah, moves over. Uh, try to start making some videos again. Also currently looking for a job. We moved here for my wife's job. Now i got to start over and uh, looking for a job out here in Idaho. Um, there's also a fish guy out here. I know lives out here. Uh, Steve Poland from Poland Cichlids. Uh, if any of you guys are subscribed to his channel, I know he lives out here somewhere. And I messaged him one time saying, hey, I'm moving here. You know, uh, he probably thinks I'm a stalker. Doesn't want to meet me or nothing. But uh, Steve Poland, if you're watching this, man, love to hang out and, and talk some fish. You got like 100 freaking tanks I'd love to see. So I'm in Boise. Uh, if you guys know Steve Poland or if he's watching, man, definitely want to talk some fish with you. So, by the grace of God, I was able to move a 40-gallon tank and all this stuff without breaking one single thing. The tank didn't break, the glass tops didn't break, my L, my still got the beams work, LED light did not break, my heaters didn't break, nothing broke. Um, I was a little concerned about, I'm using the ATI sponge filters in my integrated filter that I built. And I had those wrapped around uh, the sponge filter tube set up when I transported him and I only had about five maybe five gallons of water in that tank when we got here I had to fill up this 40 gallon I thought maybe that'd be too much fresh water and kill the bacteria off my sponges 
which luckily did not happen. Um, I poured all the water from the cooler I transported him in, filled the rest up with fresh water, added the uh, Seachum Prime, Seachum Prime, and put in a bunch of bacteria supplement. And he's just completely fine. The water's good, everything's good. Um, really, really happy about that. A lot of things could go wrong. I mean, I could have had something fall in the U-Haul and just smash the tank. I tried to set it up and cover it with foam and do everything I could. And uh, all, all the preparation paid off, so. Uh, I have never done that before, so if any of you guys in the, are planning on moving or in the future you gotta move some fish, I can tell you now from this experience, preparation is the key. Um, it's a little stressful, think, oh my gosh, my fish is gonna die. If you, if you be careful, take some notes on exactly what you're gonna need and how you're gonna set it up, plan it out, preparation, you, you'll be fine, so. Um, let me do a little close-up and I'll show you what's going on. So there is Magneto and he's getting big and he's eating like crazy. And there's a couple of logs that I bought. There's actually a fish store, a privately owned local one, just down the street from me. And I bought both of those logs over there. Actually, I'm sorry, I bought that one for PetSmart. This one I bought. Oh, there he is. He's... But anyway, uh, filter's working great. Uh, I had to clean the tank before I set it back up. It had full of dried algae. Uh, it's all nice and clean now. Filter's still working great. And if I can kind of show you a side view, yeah, you can see how clear my water is. I mean, just absolutely crystal clear. Can't even tell. Doesn't, there's no haze in it. Sorry about the glare, can't help that much. And then you can kind of look through this way. I mean, into the kitchen. Almost crystal clear, which is beautiful, awesome. Trying to get him to come out a little bit for you. So I positioned these two logs so this almost entire area is like a cave for him. So he can hide and feel comfortable. And it's working, he loves it. He hides in there a lot. Comes out when it's time to eat, of course, because he's a glutton. Oh, there he is. See, he thinks I'm going to feed him. Got my finger up there. So around Christmas, I want to go at least 75 gallon. We'll see what happens. We'll see if I have the money for that. Try to find a deal. But everything on this thing is still working. The, my beams work light. is still kicking butt. The filter I made, I'm actually, I'm so happy with this filter. This filter is freaking awesome. <laughs> I've had a... I've had some crazy trolls trash me for that filter, and I don't know why. It is working awesome. It's like completely quiet. Um, many people may find it ugly. They would say, well, why didn't you use black plexiglass or black acrylic? Well, I couldn't. If I, if I made it a solid color, I wouldn't be able to tell how dirty it is or if it needed cleaning or maintenance. So because it's clear, I can tell if it needs maintenance or not. All right, I got a little piece of brine shrimp. I'm going to give him, if I can get him to come out. Oh, there he is. Oh, that's a little brine shrimp right there. Some frozen brine shrimp. He loves that stuff. Okay guys, that's the video. Thanks for watching. Um, I'm gonna try to do, my next video I'm gonna try to do uh, water change. Show you guys how I do my water changes, which is kind of caveman style, but I'll see if I can get that done in the next week or two. Cool, thanks for watching guys. Click to subscribe. Um, thank you guys for all your views and take care out there.